Hey everyone, there's a nice game I found today in the Computer Chess Championships between Stockfish and Leela Chess Zero. Now this is 15 minutes each with a 5 second increment and I'm guessing it's also got an opening book because in this game they play the Benko Gambit. Here Stockfish is white, Leela Chess Zero is black. The game starts off with d4, Leela plays knight to f6, Stockfish plays c4 and black plays c5 d5 and we get into the benko with b5. White plays c takes, a6 is played and then captures, captures, knight c3, g6 and e4 and this is all theory. Bishop takes f1, king takes f1, black plays d6, white plays g3, bishop g7 and king g2 from Stockfish. I think this was the first move but I'm not entirely sure. I only say this because now Leela played uh, a move out of the book, which was Queen B6. Uh, this move had not been seen before in my opening book. So basically, Black sacrificed pawns, to gain some open lines on White's Queen side. So we'll see what happens from here on in. Knight F3 is played by Stockfish. Black castles, and now White starts launching their pawns at the board, like with A4, similar to the style of Alpha Zero. Can't be said. Knight e6 is played and Stockfish intuitively launches their other pawns up the board with h4. Now here black could have opted for a move like rook fb8 uh, and I've got into a really long variation actually it was quite interesting because after a5, queen b7, h5 is actually a really good move for white. This is because after knight takes, rook takes and g takes so white sacrifices exchange for a nice attack now with queen h1 attacking the pawn, queen d7, and queen takes h5. Black realises they're under attack, so plays queen e8, uh, and after queen h3, queen c8, trying to trade queens, queen h4 attacking the pawn, and queen f8. Uh, and this is all moves from Stockfish, so after bishop f4, captures, captures an f6. White's actually got a slightly better game here, even though they were, they were exchanged down. Bishop h6, attacking the queen, queen f7 and queen g4, check, king h8 and knight h4. Again, white's exchange down, but has a very comfortable game. Uh, have you, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll know that dynamic piece play is really important in computer chess. And white's just got better pieces in this position. So after h4 in the actual game, this explains why Leela didn't opt to play a move like rook fb8 here. Instead, they just shut down uh, this h-pawn with h5 straight away. And Stockfish played queen e2, developing the piece. Leela played knight g4 now, and bishop g5 is played by Stockfish, attacking this pawn on e7. Leela defends it. Stockfish plays knight d2. So, what's happening here? Well, Stockfish is just going to give back the b2 pawn and hopes that Leela accepts it, which she actually does. But I'm not sure she should because uh, white now gains some nice piece play. Knight b5 is played, so threatening knight c7 ideas, stopping this knight on a6 from moving away. I was thinking maybe black could play queen takes a1 here. Um, and after rook takes, bishop takes, black has the two rooks for the queen. But actually knight c4 and white's got some very nice dynamic pieces still. If I move like rook a b8, White can play e5, and after knight captures, they can play knight b takes d6, and if e takes, they can play knight takes, attacking the rook, and once the rook moves, recapture the piece on a6. Uh, this is just a nice position for white, even though black has the two rooks for the queen. There's so many black squared weaknesses around the black king in this position. Another move I was thinking of was maybe rook a b8. Um, stopping knight c7 ideas, but actually rook hb1 is just really nice for white. And again, if we go through this line, queen takes, rook takes, and bishop takes, knight c4 again is really nice, and this queen eyes up the h6 knight once again. And this is actually the same position. If bishop g7, f3 can be played, and if knight to e5 just captures, captures an f4, bishop g7, again, white's doing very nicely here. But surprisingly in the game, Leela actually lets white play knight c7 because Leela plays knight to b4 here. So knight c7 is played by Stockfish, forking these two rooks. 
Then Leela plays bishop to d4, attacking f2. Uh, but white's in no rush to take any of these rooks. Stockfish calmly plays rook hf1. Queen c2 is played rook a3, defending more squares. Black takes on a4, and after the captures, captures. Stockfish takes the rook on e8. The queen captures, and white is now the exchange up. But black actually has an extra pawn. So maybe this was actually the best that Leela could hope for in this position. Stockfish now attacked Leela by playing f3, attacking the knight. Uh, and the knight jumps into e5. Stockfish plays knight b3, so trying to swap off this knight for the bishop on d4. Uh, and knight bd3 is now played by Leela. Rook d1 is played by Stockfish, so threatening to play rook takes d3 and have two knights for the rook. And if this happens, white will be a piece up. So queen b5 defends this, um, and Stockfish just takes on d4. After c takes, white is winning this position, but does have to be a bit careful. For instance, I thought maybe bishop takes e7 looks rather nice. But actually knight f4 check just wins a queen. So it shows how easy it is to make a mistake in this position. Because after g takes f4, just queen takes e2. Uh, king g3 takes king h2 uh, and white's just getting absolutely mated so that's how easy it is to go wrong but stockfish probably won't go wrong in the game they play queen c2 maybe threatening queen c8 ideas knight b4 is played attacking the queen the queen moves to b2 pinning this knight f6 is played attacking the bishop the bishop retreats to f4 knight e to d3 is played uh, this allows rook takes, and after queen takes, queen takes the knight, stockfish ends up a piece up. And I'll just go through these moves rather quickly because these are just manoeuvring now. So queen e2 from Leela, king g1, and Leela gets another pawn. So black actually has six pawns versus four, but white has the bishop. And it seems like if white can win this d4 pawn, they're doing rather well. So, after queen e1, defending e4, there's a lot of manoeuvring. I'll just quickly go through these moves. Um, so check, king f3, check. And basically, both sides just start doing these, this computer shuffle that always happens in a lot of games, where they're trying to get the optimum position. Eventually, Stockfish ends up winning the d4 pawn. And I feel like this is the game over for black in this position. So bishop f2 was played. And now white's just waiting to take on d4. King g2. And finally get the optimum position and take on d4. Leela moves the queen to e2. Queen e3 trying to trade. But Leela's having none of it. Eventually though, after a few more shuffling moves, g4 is played. Captures, captures. Queen c2. And after h5... Takes, takes, king f8. White plays, queen to f3. After king g3, queen g5 check. It seems like white's slowly moving their pieces up the board. And after bishop e3, king e8, um, white is definitely winning this position now. So after queen f3, try and trade the queens again. Black plays queen to h7. Queen f5 again trying to trade the queens. Leela plays queen h1 hoping for a perpetual. But queen c8 check. King f7 and now queen h3 again trying to trade queens off. Queen e1 check. King g4 protecting the bishop on e3 with the queen. King e8 is played. Uh, but this actually allows white to now gain a more optimum position with their king. They can play king f5 and there's actually no checks for black. And amazingly, this is given as actually a mate in 24 for white, which is rather crazy. Yeah, so in the remaining moves, black played queen b4. Queen h8 check, king d7, uh, and queen a8. So this king on f5 is just really nice now, and just boxes the black king in. Queen b5 to prevent maybe queen c6, but white can play queen a7 check. After king c8... The king gets in an even more optimum position with king to e6. Queen e8 is played. Uh, but this actually just makes white's life a lot easier. 
because it's mating five now. Let's see if you can spot it. So queen a8 or queen a6 both work. Queen a6 was played in the game of check. After king b8, white played bishop to a7. Uh, and either way, black's going to lose this position. If king c7, queen b6 just wins. Uh, in the game, king a8 was played. And now just bishop b6, king b8, queen a7 check. Uh, and of course, queen c7 is checkmate. So this was a rather remarkable game. And I'm going to confess, I didn't totally understand Black's choices in the game. I especially thought taking on b2 was rather risky. Here, maybe Black should just play a calming move like knight to e5 and not take this pawn. Uh, this seems to have led to Lila's downfall in the game. Having said that, I don't think the opening actually helps Black because they're a pawn down. And obviously the Benko isn't the optimum opening for computers. Anyway, I just thought this was a rather interesting game. And it was just a nice demonstration of Stockfish's control, where Stockfish just calmly won the exchange and slowly traded off pieces to win an optimum endgame. So it's very nice play. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please drop me a like and comment if you wish. And I'll try and respond to every comment I can. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next video. See you next time.